Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at FrenchPod101.com. Top 15 questions you should know. So if you travel in France, pay attention to those. Aimes-tu la cuisine française? Do you like French food? So if you are invited somewhere, usually people ask this question. Aimes-tu la cuisine française? Do you like French food? Oh, aimes-tu la cuisine française? Yeah, sure, I love it. <laughs> so, do you like French food? C'est quand votre anniversaire? When is your birthday? Quand est ton anniversaire? If you want to be a bit casual. Ou quand est ton anniversaire? When is your birthday? Combien de temps as-tu appris le français? How long have you been studying French? Combien de temps as-tu appris le français? Or, pendant combien de temps as-tu appris le français? Usually we say, pendant combien de temps? I'm sorry if I speak really fast, but French people usually speak really fast. For three months. Wow, you're good. Comment t'appelles-tu? What's your name? You will hear this one a lot. So, comment t'appelles-tu? Or more casually will be, comment tu t'appelles? Comment vas-tu? How are you? Comment vas-tu? How are you? Hey, bonjour. Comment vas-tu? Or you will often hear, comment ça va? Hey, comment ça va? D'où venez-vous? Where are you from? D'où venez-vous? Where do you come from? And just answer where you come from. I'm from America. <laughs> French people often make jokes about English speaking people, so prove them wrong by answering in French and you will impress them really much. That would be so great. <laughs> so try it. Es-tu déjà allé en France? Have you been to France? Well, aller is go. So if you are already in France when answering this, it would be, es-tu déjà venu en France? Which is, did you ever come to France? With a notion of, did you ever come before? Or is it your first time? Maybe you will also hear this one. Is it your first time in France? Ou, est-ce que c'est ta première fois en France? Où as-tu appris le français? Where did you learn French? Où as-tu appris le français? Where did you learn French? On French Pod 101 <laughs> with me. Yeah, where did you learn French? Leave me a comment below. <laughs> Maybe in your home country or on the internet or did you study it more seriously in school? So just tell me. Où habitez-vous? Where do you live? I used to live in the south. So between Spain and Italy. It was a nice place full of sun and everything. You should check it out, so come to the south of France, it's sunny. Où sont les toilettes? Where is the bathroom? Où sont les toilettes? You will need this one in a restaurant. Toilette is a plural word in French. We used to make a joke that French toilets are so dirty that you have to check many of them before finding a decent one. That's why it's a plural name. Some toilets you have to pay to access them actually in public places. So be careful, sometimes you need a coin, especially in stations, like train stations. Où travaillez-vous? Where do you work? Où travaillez-vous? Where do you work? I work on the internet, it's a worldwide place. So, and after this one, usually you will be asked, what do you work in, or what's your job? Quel est ton travail, ou dans quoi travailles-tu? Here you go. Qu'avez-vous dit? What did you say? Qu'avez-vous dit? Or you will often hear, pardon? Or excuse me? Like I'm sorry, like I didn't catch you. So, pardon? Excusez-moi. Or can you repeat? Pouvez-vous répéter? So if French people say that to you, just try and repeating what you said. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? <gasps> Qu'est-ce que c'est? I don't know. Show them something fancy for your own country and tell them. And they will ask, oh, qu'est-ce que c'est? Quel est ton numéro de téléphone? What's your phone number? Quel est ton numéro de téléphone? What's your phone number? This is a pickup line. Hey, Ooh. what's your phone number? Quel est ton numéro de téléphone? Ah, oh, yeah, maybe they will ask for your pseudo, which is your ID in any web messaging service. Es-tu célibataire? Are you single? And if you are traveling to France and happen to find love, maybe you will be asked, Are you single? Es-tu célibataire? Or maybe the other sneaky way around, Est-ce que tu as un copain? Ou est-ce que tu as une copine? 
do you have a boyfriend or do you have a girlfriend? So maybe you will find French love in France. Who knows? 10 phrases you always want to hear. This will be nice. So what do you want to hear? You're so pretty. Il y aura un bonus à la fin du mois. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Ah, this would be so nice. So sad it's not true. <laughs> yeah, if your boss tells you this, the, il y aura un bonus à la fin du mois. Then you get extra money, isn't it nice? If I had a bonus, I would not come to work anymore and go traveling somewhere. Le budget est illimité. The budget is unlimited. This also sounds nice. Like if you put me in a store with le budget est illimité. I would buy lots of and lots of food. And drinks too. Allons au restaurant avec un budget illimité. Let's go to the restaurant with an unlimited budget. Prenez une pause. Je vais faire le ménage aujourd'hui. Take a break. I do the cleaning today. So this is also the polite version. So if you want to talk more casually is Prends une pause. Je vais faire le ménage aujourd'hui. Prends une pause. I'm doing the dishes and the cleaning, everything. Just sit down and enjoy. This would be nice. Yeah, this is also something I want to hear. Et vous gagnez. And you win. Et vous gagnez. And you win. Yeah. What do I win? Et vous gagnez un voyage en Amérique. And you win a trip to the USA. Ooh, ooh. From East Coast to West Coast, starting with New York and going to Chicago and maybe visit some friend in the South and then go all the way to California and then be in Las Vegas, back to California and from California, take a plane ticket to Japan. Tu me manques. I miss you. Oh, tu m'as manqué. I missed you. And now you're a night and you're half lovely together. Vous avez fait un excellent travail. You did a great job. Hey, great job today, Lilia. Thank you. So, if you manage to learn all those French sentences, vous avez fait un excellent travail. Vous aviez raison. You were right. I told you so. If someone recognizes that you were right and tell you so, that's nice. Vous êtes un excellent cuisinier. You're an excellent cook. Tu es un excellent cuisinier. This is one I often get. So, do you get this comment? Vous êtes un excellent cuisinier. If so, what did you cook to get that comment? Leave it in the comment. Tu es jolie. You're pretty. Oh, you look so pretty today. Oh, tu as l'air très jolie aujourd'hui. Only today? Je vous ai apporté quelque chose de spécial. I brought you something special. What could be quelque chose de spécial? I would like to be given a kitten. They're cute. 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's go. Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. I would be really amazed if you told me that in French. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. Nice. Très bien. Very good. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. And it took you only one year to become fluent. Nice. 10 years is a long way to go, but it may be the time you need to learn a language properly, actually. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. All by myself. I'm learning French. Oh, <laughs> now you're learning French with me. Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I speak French like a native speaker in three years. Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I'll speak French like a native speaker in three years. Good luck with that. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Wow, that's amazing, yeah. 
That's really amazing. So yeah, if you told me that in French, I would be amazed. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Man, and this is also really good. And it's a really good way to learn as well. So do it whenever you can. You can try by starting to watch Le Fabuleux Destin d'Amélie Poulain. It's a very famous French movie. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. Apart from knowing French, I can speak a few other languages as well. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. <laughs> Apart from knowing French, I can speak another few languages as well. Good job! I bet you can also speak English. <gasps> That's already two languages. Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn. Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it, and I hope you will continue to enjoy the lessons with me as well. <laughs> Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Wow. If someone tells you this, it means not only you're really good at speaking French, but you also got no accent at all. 20 travel phrases you should know. Merci. Thank you. Anytime you receive something or someone was nice to you. Merci. Thank you. Excusez-moi. Excuse me. Anytime you bump into someone or if you step on the foot because the metro is crowded or if you need to call for the waiter's attention, use this one. Excusez-moi. Combien ça coûte? How much is this? Yeah, sometimes you won't find the prices on the items you are looking for, especially if you're going to a flea market in France. So just go, ah, this item, how much is it? Cet objet, combien ça coûte? Où est la gare? Where is the train station? This one can be quite convenient. If you are in a big city, where is the metro? Où est le métro? Le wifi est-il gratuit? Is the wifi free? If you want Wi-Fi in France, maybe some coffee shops now have it. They advertise it on the chalkboard outside. So come inside, we have Wi-Fi. Je voudrais ceci. I'd like this. Oh, I'd like this, please. Je voudrais ceci, s'il vous plaît. If you don't know the name of the item you want in the menu, you can just point and say, Je voudrais ceci. I want this, please. Pourrions-nous avoir le menu, s'il vous plaît? Could we have the menu, please? Usually you have to ask for it. Sometimes the place is very crowded, so ask. Le menu, s'il vous plaît. Could we have the menu, please? Avez-vous des recommandations? Do you have any recommendations? If you are at a bar and want for some cocktail, it can be like, oh, I like something fruity. Do you have any recommendation? J'aimerais quelque chose de fruité. Avez-vous des recommandations? And then the bartender will make you some fancy cocktail. Je suis allergique aux cacahuètes. I'm allergic to peanuts. If you have any allergies, be sure to ask whenever you are going out or trying to eat something. People will be really nice about it. And sometimes it's even on the menu. If you have any allergies, there will be a sign saying, yes, yeah, this contains nut or this contains milk or this contains gluten. And you can make sure that you don't eat something you don't want to ingest. <laughs> Avez-vous des plats végétariens? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? If you are vegetarian or vegan, there will also be a sign very often on the menu saying this dish contains no meat or this is vegan safe, it's made with no animal grease or eggs or milk. Pourrais-je avoir l'addition? Could I have the check? Pourrais-je avoir l'addition, s'il vous plaît? Could I have the check, please? Prenez-vous la carte de crédit? Do you take credit card? Can I pay by credit card? Puis-je payer avec ma carte de crédit? Pourriez-vous me prendre en photo, s'il vous plaît? Could you take a picture of me, please? What, you don't have your selfie stick? Come on, that's something every traveler should have. Un, deux, trois, oui, Titi. Je voudrais un siège non fumeur, s'il vous plaît. I'd like to have a non-smoking seat, please. Well, restaurants in France have banned smoking inside for a couple of years now. So every restaurant you go to should be non-smoking. Smoking is only allowed in bars. Good luck with that. Do you have non-smoking seats? Avez-vous des sièges non fumeurs? Pourriez-vous me donner un rabais? Could you give me a discount? 
un peu moins cher. A little bit cheaper. This is again if you go to flea market and especially on Sundays, you will have a bunch of sellers selling stuff from their homes. You can negotiate the price a lot over there. And getting an item half price is really common. So you can say, uh, un peu moins cher. Uh, ou, est-ce que je pourrais avoir un rabais? S'il vous plaît, give me a discount, please. Or make it cheaper, a tiny bit cheaper. Okay, more, more cheap, even, even cheaper, way, way cheaper. Okay, give it to me, free, now. Pourrais-je obtenir un plan? Could I get a map? Plan would be more a map of something you want inside, for example, if you're in a museum. And if you are outside and got lost and go to the information center, for example, you can ask, pourrais-je avoir une carte? Could I get a map? J'ai une réservation. I have a reservation. When you get to a restaurant and have a reservation, they will often ask you at the front desk, so do you have a reservation? Avez-vous une réservation? You can say, yes, I have a reservation. Oui, j'ai une réservation. Puis j'ai essayé. Can I try this on? Yeah, if you want to try some clothes, you can ask the staff. Puis j'ai essayé ceci. Can I try this? Parlez-vous anglais? Do you speak English? French people aren't really good at speaking English, but they will try their best. So if you find someone and cannot express yourself in French properly and ask them, Parlez-vous anglais? Do you speak English? They may say, no, not that much, but no, je, je ne parle pas beaucoup, ou je ne parle pas anglais. The most common sentence I learn in every language is A beer, please. Une bière, s'il vous plaît. Anytime it's summer, it's hot, and you want something fresh. Une bière, s'il vous plaît. A beer, please. To go with your nice meal, or just to freshen up and chill with friends. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. 
With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight. But with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.